How do you know if the carnivore way of eating, diet, lifestyle, the whole thing works for you? And how are you gonna know before you start? And then when you decide to start, like how long should you commit before you reevaluate and decide if you're gonna stick with it or go a different direction? These are the questions we are going to answer today. So I am about 90 days in, you're about 100 days in, roughly. 100, 104. Always with the numbers, so precise. Disclaimer, I have dyscalculia. That's like dyslexia, but for numbers. So numbers are just, let's round them. Let's round them. All right, here is what we believe and what we have learned from our first little bit in carnivore. How long do you think is a minimum that people should commit when they decide to try carnivore? 90 days. I Why so long? That's long. <laughs> it is. We've got... I got the mic now. Yes. Um, no. So initially, this all started with a 21-day, let's cut the sugar mm -hmm. with her. And then I told her I was going to do carnivore the next day. And I was like, oh, you know. So anyway, that's kind of how we got started. So when I started approaching 21 days, then I was like, well, I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep going. I don't know for how long, but I was feeling good enough that I knew it was going to be a while at least. And I just... I guess in the back of my, my mind, I think I knew I was going to keep going for quite a while, but it wasn't a, until, well, in 90 days from all the things that you go through physically, emotionally, uh, weight loss or the lack thereof, however that plays out, um, I think to really see what this is going to do for you it's not, it's going to take about 90 days. Um, one of our sons started and he, he just hit the 30 day mark a few days ago and it was like the lights came on. Um, holy cow, his clear headed thought. He had ideas about things he, he hasn't seemed to have in a, in a while. Yeah. Um, and if he has, he just hasn't conveyed them fully. Um, but you know, cause I was telling him, yeah, I was 11 or 12 days and I started, you know, feeling a lot different, but I was, you know, 65 days in at that point. And so <laughs> you forget so yeah, fast yeah. what you went through initially. Yeah. Cause it, 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 you know, 11 or 12 days, it was up and down and weird feelings and tired and exhausted, then feel great. And then think you're going to feel great all day. And it was like, Oh, three hours later, I just want to sleep. And so with all that, it was just a progression of things to where, so much happens to where, you know, you'll hear a lot of people, if you're, you're listening to all the different doctors and resources that are out there, which you should be, mm -hmm. um, extensively, um, to get immersed in this, you're going to hear all kinds of different things from different people, different testimonies. How long is it going to take? Um, you know, some people are like, God, in three days, I knew I was going to do this. Well, I had no clue. I knew in three days something was different, which was odd. And maybe it was just a decision factor along with how I felt initially, but it, it takes a little bit to wrap your mind around everything it's doing because it's doing so much. Right. And I think for me, if I, I wonder if I were watching this video by somebody else saying 90 day initial commitment, like Oof. before I ever started, I feel like that might have been overwhelming for me. Would have been for me. But I think it also would have given me more context than I initially started with. I was like, maybe I'll dabble for a week. And we've had people asking questions. Like, we talk a lot. And and people who know us are, have, have started asking a lot of questions because they know that we have struggled for years. our whole lives. Years and so and and they are now. seeing differences and they are curious and they are asking questions. So <laughs> I'm going to break you of your fidgeting if it's the last thing we do. This is our third video. I cannot believe you still fidget. I Three know. videos I got in. papers Stop I'm fidgeting it. with. Okay. So <laughs> it's part of our entertainment. Yes, uh, I guess. I hope everybody finds it as entertaining as yeah. we do. Well, if they don't, they'll move on. That's true. So the, the idea though is we as a culture have diet culture and we think we can just jump on a bandwagon 
and see immediate results and know for sure, like within the first 10 days, you will have lost 10 pounds or, you know, 30 days lose this many pounds. And which could be true. And that is, <laughs> watch our last video if you, if you want a different perspective on that, because mm -hmm. if that was what I was using as the main <laughs> metric, true. then I would have quit this after a long time ago. So yep. for me, 90 days, which just happened, or maybe is happening tomorrow, I, again, numbers, Somewhere. but it, it really, it's like, I'm settled in, this is a way of life, this is a long-term commitment. And it took a lot of going through, and this is part of what we're sharing, you know, this all of our different experiences and stories to help just keep track of it for ourselves and to, and to motivate and inspire and, other people. And one more perspective, because there's so many voices out there that are amazing, that have helped us, but just to give one more voice or voices, you, you know, to Two this, to this, to this <laughs> subject, um, for a way of eating. I hate to even say diet because I right. mean, diet is what you it's eat. It's the food you eat, but like but we don't triggered was, triggers with that with so right. many people. This is not a diet that we are on. And then later we'll be able to go back to eating what we were eating before. This is something we've talked a lot about that for the first time ever in our entire lives, both of us, which we've only been together 19 years. So there was a lot of life lived before that yeah. had the same kind of theme, which was let's go on a diet, lose the weight, look great, feel however, but we don't care because we look good. Right. And then go back to eating how we ate before. Or, or eating what even? Or, or how before, do we maintain do we do, and like that fear now? of what do we eat now? And this is, there's no question there. And for us, the, the magic realm seems to be that three months. And, and so many people. High level of clarity at that point. Right. So many people get that clarity sooner. Like our son, who's 24, at 30 days, he's like, this is going to do for me exactly what I needed to do. My life is on the track I want it to be on. And that's awesome and so yeah we had some of these like little sparks earlier than 90 days Lots but the them. point being there's so many ups and downs and healing and and fat adaptation and all the other things that are happening early on that that for me even though i didn't sort of know 90 days was kind of going to be a magic number i just i think it's important to give the perspective that because this is such an enormous shift in like foundational context of your life it's a complete undoing of everything. Everything you thought was was what like the solid and... earth beneath you nutritionally. So the other part we wanted to say about that 90 days is there is so much information to take in. There are so many new perspectives. There are so many um, other data points and different research and reports and that it takes that kind of time. Like we are just now sort of re reaching a like a saturation point where we have the basics of why this works, how this works and and what it does in people's bodies to where we can say it <laughs> clearly without mm -hmm. having to like go back to our notes. So not just eat this way for 90 days, but also immerse yourself in the information available so that you are rewriting the understanding you have of what is health and nourishment and how to take care of yourself because that's really just as important as what you're eating is what you're putting in your mm -hmm. mind as you're mm -hmm. putting this in your mouth so that you're not just questioning it every single time. You're growing into deeper awareness right. of what you're doing. Right. I mean, it, it started from video one was Dr. Ken Berry and then more videos of him and Dr. Robert Kiltz and I mean, Dr. Chafee, Chafee and, and, and then there's just so many individuals. Plants are trying to kill, kill you. We watched that, that one, one and we were just looking at each other with bug eyes oh after gosh. that. I was like, what in the hell is going on? My favorite food was salad. Everyone knew me as the salad queen. I have eaten a million salads in and my I life. And I was happy to say, mm, the vegetables. <laughs> so, um... It, it is, I mean, hours and hours and hours and hours of watching and listening and 
where she reads the books and then fills me in on some of the and stuff. And he watches and the I'm YouTube pretty, videos watch and, watch and, and, watch and, and shares. And, and that's something that's been super bonding. So I hope that if you have someone else in your life who also loves to learn that's willing to try this with you, you can have a buddy or if not, join a community. I'm gonna do a, an honest review of a community that I joined here soon um, because learning together with other people, sharing information, sharing your stories, um, talking about what's happening in your body, being excited and and, mm -hmm. and also supporting each other when you're you and know in, having a hard day. And in the group, being able to ask questions. Yeah, and get that know. information you know in the moment that you need. Um, it's it's such a it's such a paradigm shift. You it it really requires an open mind and a whole new way of referencing and relating to your own body and to your own health. And so that's why we really think 90 days is kind of a a magical window that it would if we had it to do again it would be important to adjust our expectations a little bit. But also with that knowing how hard that is to go, oh, I'm going to commit to that for 90 days for something that once you, before you have done it, it's so extreme in, in, in that <laughs> set. Now on the, on, you know, behind the curtain, um, it, it's not, it doesn't, it's not extreme, but we try to stay aware of that because <laughs> it does catch people off guard. And, and it, and, 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 and in a sense it, it, you know, it is still extreme, but, um, it's, extremely good <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah but also the other thing is with with a like a 90-day commitment it's also there's so many stories I've seen where people said I tried carnivore for 30 days and this is what happened and they were like I don't really get it or you know they tried it for a week or they tried it well, for 14 days it's just there it's is not enough time right well, there is one woman that I've watched I can't think of her name and that's how she started out. It was a, I, 30 days on the carnivore diet. And then she kept updating videos. It was 60 and 90 and then further. And the changes that have been made. And I, I, don't, I don't know how long. She's, she's been going a long time now. And uh, so that was her initial start. So, I mean, if that's all you, you could do, you know, start. Start with and 30 because you, you really go. won't know until 30. Right, 90, 30 seems like 90, the minimum. 90, there's so much clarity. It's so, I don't know, it's just so good. If you can, consider that's, our, it. that's our encouragement. Consider it. And the other thing to point out, just a side note, is that this oh. does seem to be one way of eating that really the more um, you know, strict carnivore that you can be, the more results you're going to see more quickly. So I have found just in noticing how I did initially and then and how other people, some people dabbling and just like, well, I'll just add some more meat and stuff. Great, awesome. I think the more meat you can eat, the better. Overall, I have found that this is one way of doing things that the, the zeroer carbs you are, the faster and more powerfully you're going to understand the benefits of this way of eating. It's, it's a... Yeah. I guess in a way kind of feels a bit like an all or nothing. It's not to say you can't do ketovore or any just additional meat to what you're eating and not have benefits. I'm just saying for me, I can look at it and go, I, I realize how the more strict I got, the, more, the better I felt. And then the better I felt, the more strict I got. Not because I was trying to force myself in the way I have in other diets in the past, but because it was so self-perpetuating it, it just it takes felt, on a life of its own right i felt good so i did things to make myself feel better and pretty soon i'm b b b and e like i pretty much only eat beef bacon butter and eggs and pretty if you much. had told me that at the beginning Same. i would have no said way. no thank you <laughs> i'm out yeah so i guess we're saying here's what we know now and i guess if we had known this at the beginning maybe we wouldn't have listened to our own advice but it's also this just another just, perspective this from perspective, this point yeah, yeah. And we're still new, like we're still very young in this and, and it's going to continue to grow and change. So maybe in six months we'll be like, hey, if you'd start carnivore, you should probably devote yourself to the next six months because we're also learning. We're still going to learn more. Loads. Now we're learning how to do videos. <laughs> so stick with it. Just keep going and ask yourself, do I feel better? Am I overall feeling better? And can I eat, keep going? And eat try the meat. Eat, eat the meat. The meat. <laughs>